Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily Freibler and today we are going to be talking all about the best concealers from the drugstore. I've done a few of these videos. I've done best bronzers and best blushes videos and today I figured I would sit down and talk all about concealers because I know a lot about them when it comes to blemishes and when it comes to under eyes. I just feel like concealers in me, we vibe. So today I'm going to be talking all about my favorites, so let's get started with the video. I guess these aren't all like just from the drugstore. One is from like Sephora. I know that sounds weird because you would think, okay, Sephora is not drugstore, but it's the Sephora brand and it's very affordable. And then there is one from Sally Beauty, so just keep that in mind. So all of these first five concealers you can get on Ulta's website. So the first one I want to mention is a Wet n Wild concealer and this is their Photo Focus concealer. I love this so so much. It is a great formula because it's a little bit more like drying. I know that sounds really really weird but it's not going to stay super super tacky on the skin so I love this when I don't want to set my foundation or set my concealer or whatever if I'm doing no makeup makeup. This is usually the foundation or what? If I'm doing a no makeup makeup look and I just want to spot conceal and conceal my under eyes this is the concealer that I reach for because it has more of like a natural finish versus a very dewy finish I love the shades um, light medium and light ivory I think light ivory I usually use under my eyes and light medium is great for covering up blemishes I find like this concealer is about a medium coverage but it does a really good job at covering up blemishes as well I don't know if you guys know this, but I usually use this trick where I put some concealer on my blemishes first, then I go on to my under eyes, blend out my under eyes, get that all set to go, and then take a brush kind of like this e.l.f. one and then pat on the uh, concealer areas that I did over my blemishes. I really feel like doing that method and letting the concealer sit for a little while makes so that it doesn't come off of the blemish super, super easily and slip and slide all around the face, but it also still blends out, you know? So I really love this concealer for basically no makeup makeup. It's one of the best, and I mean, I obviously use it when I wear more foundation and stuff like that too. So definitely a good one. So these two are the very cheapest ones, the Wet, n the Wet n Wild Photo Focus and then now the Maybelline Fit Me. I believe most places you can get this for around $5.00. Same with the Wet n Wild one, and this is an oldie but a goodie in my opinion. I've been loving this again recently so much because it has such a nice like thin, creamy, gel-like formula I feel like, and it really looks natural on the skin. I love how it covers up blemishes, and I also love how it works on the under eyes. Um, the under eyes, just so you know, it's not going to cover up like super, super dark circles. It's going to just kind of cover them up but not if they're really really bad if that makes sense I don't I hope it does so it's not going to cover up like the darkest of dark circles but it's definitely going to cover them um decently well but I kind of like that sometimes because it looks like I'm not wearing like a mask it's more just kind of a natural concealed look this one unlike the wet and wild one does have more of a dewy finish so it will crease on your under eyes so please set this um, unless you have very dry skin, I would definitely recommend setting this. But again, I kind of like that for some looks, especially over blemishes, because it doesn't make it look dry and cracky and gross if you do have like a little bit more flaky of skin or things like that. This is a great one to kind of hydrate those areas, and it's beautiful. I just love it so much. Okay, so the next three are th ones that I basically strictly use underneath the eyes. So the first one I want to talk about is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, dark circle eraser concealer. I have this one in the shade neutralizer, but I've also used like the shade light and things like this. Neutralizer is just going to have more of a yellow undertone to really cancel out those dark circles. I love this except for, I mean, I don't really love this applicator. The sponge tip is just kind of weird in my opinion, but it does work well. I'm just a little nervous about bacteria and stuff. So I really love this concealer. Again, it's a nice thin consistency, but it does really cancel out those like dark circles and things like that. All of these concealers, by the way, don't react weird to different foundations and stuff. I've used them with tons and tons and tons of different foundations and they all look beautiful. This again looks very lightweight on the skin and it is a very hydrating formula. It's not dry by any means. So I really, really love this concealer. So now we're going on to a little bit more fuller coverage. So this one is one that I have used for years and years, but then kind of fell off using it. Oops, 
fell off the bandwagon, kind of stopped using it for a little while, and then recently I wanted to talk about it in this video, but I was like, okay, I need to use it again and make sure I still love it, and I've been using it for a couple weeks now, and I do. I really, really love it. So this is the Maybelline Master Conceal Face Studio uh, Camouflaging Concealer. So it comes in a squeezy tube like this. It doesn't have a doe foot applicator, so... I don't usually use this over blemishes, but if you did, it would be very, like, hygienic. It doesn't have, like, anywhere that is going to um, have bacteria build up or anything like that. So I usually use this underneath my eyes just because it's really nice concealer. It really camouflages those under eyes, dark circles. I got mine in the shade, what shade is this? Light, 20 light, and it is very light, so just be sure that that's okay with you. When I'm more fair, it works beautifully, but when I'm more tan, I usually don't use it underneath my eyes, this shade at least, um, because it's too, too light, or I mix it with another concealer. But again, this is a very beautiful finish. I would say this one's more of like a natural finish. It's not super dewy, but it's also not like dry and cakey underneath the eyes. I have it underneath the eyes today mixed with the Maybelline Fit Me. So I put this one on just to kind of brighten everything up a nice amount. And then I put the shade Light of Maybelline Fit Me on over top just to kind of make it more my skin tone. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful concealer if you're looking for something a little bit more full coverage. Okay, the next one is from Catrice. This is their Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Again, a very, very beautiful concealer on the skin. Mine is in the shade... I have mine in the shade light beige and I love the applicator of this. It gives a lot of product out and it's a very thin, lightweight consistency, which again, I love. I want something that looks more like skin. It doesn't look super heavy on the face or anything like that. So I usually go for things that are a little bit lightweight in consistency versus more of a thicker like pot or something like that. I like something that's very gel-like and this one does dry more it's not like tacky on the skin. It's going to definitely dry down more. I mean, it's still a little bit tacky, but it's not dewy by any means. So you could probably get away with not setting this one if you are someone who doesn't like to set their under eye concealer and likes a more kind of like natural dewy finish. So the last two I have to talk about are not going to be sold at Ulta. This one is the Sephora Collection Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I know so many people talk about this concealer, but it really is that good. Mine is like all the way gone, basically. I have mine in the shade Custard. I love this shade of the concealer. It's, yeah, it's gone. This is, it's gone. Again, this is another one that's really great for no makeup makeup days because it looks very much like skin, has a natural finish but doesn't look too, too dewy. So you can kind of just get away with wearing it on its own, not having to set it or anything. And it is more like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer where it doesn't um, cover everything, but it covers enough to make it look concealed, but not like a mask, if that makes sense. I hope this is making sense for you guys. I'm trying to kind of differentiate the two. Um, the gel serum concealer is definitely a little bit more like a lightweight feeling. It has that gel consistency to it, and it's just really, really beautiful on the skin. Okay, the next one is the Collab Beauty Concealer in the shade Honey Slash Almond. I really love this concealer, and I usually love it over blemishes. So this is the shade Honey Almond, and it is just beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful formula. Very lightweight feeling, but the pigmentation is great, and it looks great over um, blemishes as well. Again, doesn't make them look cracked or cakey. That's basically my character criteria when it comes to concealers over top of blemishes is they cannot be drying because otherwise it's really going to enhance that area and you do not want that especially if you have like previous blemishes that are a little bit dry and gross so anyway I really do love this concealer I have mine in the shade honey slash almond and I find when I am decently tan like a little bit after I self tan and stuff the shade is beautiful with the skin my skin tone when it's more of that um, yellowy undertone it just looks gorgeous concealing those blemishes I have used that one underneath my eyes as well and it looks gorgeous 
All right, you guys, that is it for all of the concealers that I really like. There's seven here that I talked about. Three of them, I believe, are Maybelline because Maybelline, I just feel like, always hits it out of the park with concealers. I don't think I've ever not liked a concealer from them, but these are like my holy grail, the ones that I always reach for and go back to. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So thank you guys so much much for watching and I will see you in a video very very soon. Bye guys!